A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to manage borders and shading in Microsoft Word. And before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you're using different version of Microsoft Office, you may see a little difference in appearance. So here is our set of examples where we have two paragraphs and uh, we are going to work on the borders. So here you will see an option called bottom borders. When you select it, you will see a bottom border. If you see the select top, you will see the preview for the top border. If you want to see left or right, if you push it, press it like this, you will see the right hand side border. Similarly, if you want to border all around, just press it like this, you will see a border all around. And if you if you don't want anything, just press no borders, everything will be gone away. Similarly, if you want to have a borders around everything, just select all the paragraphs, select the borders, outside borders, or you can see uh, all around borders, all borders, so it will draw one more additional line here. So this is all about. If you don't want it, just go again. There, no borders. Just remove it. Now we'll move to show you little advanced options here. Go to the borders and shading, and you will see a three tab. First one is the borders. Second one is the page border, and third one is the shading. And in the page, in the border, you will see option called none, and none is very evident from its name itself that when you select none there will not be a border so around the second one is the box if you select box there will be a border all around there is an option called shadow and you will see there is a shadow here similarly there is a 3d so these are the few options to just show how the borders will look like here is another option called a style so in this you can select a different line type like suppose i'm choosing a dashed line here and i'm going to choose any color of my preference i can choose also the thickness and now i can remove suppose if you want to remove this line just i'll press it like this you'll press it like this it will go on if you want it get it back just press it one more time it will back Similarly, you will see there are four small boxes. This box can do the same thing. You can see little this line, there is a right hand line. And if you press it one more time, you will see this line is gone away. If you want to want it back, just press it one more time. Similarly, left hand side, press it one more time to the back. Similarly, for the bottom, top. You can also have a different color of borders based on preference. So I'm going to show it first that, that how it is going to look like. You will see the borders all around paragraph looking like this. So suppose if you want a different line type, different thickness, different color this side, you can also get it. Just select it one more time. Go to the borders and shading. And imagine on the top you want a continuous line thicker line same color just put it like this on the right hand side put it like this and some different color like this or you can have a more thicker line and if you press it ok then it will appear like this there's a green line has came over here similarly what you can do you can now you can see there is some kind of space from the text to the line that also you can adjust just select it go to the borders and shading and select the option and here you will see a option called distance and you can choose distance distance from text as per your preference and you will see there is some kind of preview here just click it okay Click it OK and you will see the distance has increased from the text to downside, text to this side, text to up and this side. 
Now I'm going to remove all the borders and I'm going to show you how to make a border around text. So here I'm going to select it, this text, go to there, border and shading and I'm going to select something, something like, let's say I'm selecting a box, some different thickness and I'm selecting text. When you press it like this, you can change again color as per preference, line type, thickness, and you can select text here. And when you press it, okay, you will see there is a border around this text. If you want to remove it, go back there and select text and select none. Everything will be removed. So here I'm going to talk about the page border and same thing same type there is nothing very fancy apart from what we have discussed earlier here you can again select a color line type thickness and same thing you can draw a line on the left i mean left top right and bottom and here there is option to select whole document this section this section first page only or this section all except first page so here you can choose best on your convenience but here i'm selecting whole document and you will see another option called options and when you press it you will see another box and you will see a called margin and there are some numbers here so basically it is trying to define the the border base border will be at the distance of 14 points from the edge of the page so edge of the page is imagine this so this line will be 14 points away from inside so just press it okay and it will see there is a line here the borders line has appeared we can also define this option based on the text so when you select this we are just defining one point away from the text just click it okay you will see it will come very closer to the to the text apart from all these things there is another option called art and here you will see none is selected you can select whatever you wish like suppose i'm going to select it like this put it like this you will see there is some fancy border here now i'm going to show the shading and the paragraph border also so i'm going to select it this and go to same thing border and shading and there is an option called shading we can select some color based on our preference and you can see it will be shaded like this and now i'm going to the paragraph border and i'm going to select some line type imagine i'm going to select like this some, some colors different colors to identify choosing red and here you can see the preview here we are selecting paragraph option we can select the distance if you want it and click it ok and you will see the shading the blue color shading and the line so I think that is all about the the borders and shading in Microsoft Word and hope it has given you a little idea about the borders and shading feature in Microsoft Word. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.